Hi everyone, in this video we're going to take a look at the new latency jitter and packet loss controls which are now available in Viral. Now these are runtime simulation controls, so I've designed a very simple network here, as you can see, four nodes with cross connects, and I'm going to spin that simulation up, starting that simulation. So the configuration's already been created by Auto Netkit, and my simulation's now up and running. So the new simulation controls give us an ability to click a link and then modify the parameters. So here you can see we're setting a link latency on this link from San Francisco up to New York of 80 milliseconds. So that's going to be a total round trip of 160 milliseconds. We're going to set 120 milliseconds again one way. So it's a total round trip of 240 on that link. The link between Paris and London, we're setting 30 milliseconds. So again, uh, sorry, 20 milliseconds, so round trip of 40 milliseconds there. So initially we're just going to take a look at the latency controls. So we click our link, we click the modify link, uh, parameters, and then we dial in the parameters that we need. And those are then put into operation. So let's take a look and see what actually happens. So we're connecting into the London node, and we're going to take a look at the routing table first of all. And we can see OSPF has come up. And I'm going to turn on my labels just so we can see the loopback IP addresses because that's helpful for orientation. And we're going to ping the New York node from London. So we're going across a link where we dialed in 120 millisecond one-way latency. And there we see close on 240 millisecond latency, which is what we would expect to see. So we're going to shut down that interface, forcing a reconvergence event to occur. And that's then going to push traffic over the two links, one via Paris and one via San Francisco. So wait and see what we get in the routing table now. And there we can see it's seeing uh, two paths. So if we now send a ping, so we did have 240 milliseconds. Now we're seeing 500 plus milliseconds. So that's probably then going via San Francisco. And so what we want to do is just bring that interface down forcing all the traffic to go via Paris. So it's probably going to take the path via Paris up to New York. Just wait for the convergence to occur. There it is. Okay, so now when we send that traffic across, there we see um, a, a shorter latency. Now obviously we bring that link back up so we get the direct path. Again, wait for convergence to occur and the path to stabilize. And we'll send the traffic back across there. And there we see we're back to the 240 millisecond uh, round trip as we would expect. Now the link latency parameters are accessible via the other interfaces that we have into our simulation. So we're going to take a look at the UWM interface. So I'm logging in as guest since that's the username uh, that I've run my simulation under. And under my simulations, we now have in our table, if we scroll down, a link table, which now shows us the links between all the nodes and the latency jitter and packet loss parameters that are dialed in on each of the links. So we, we see there delay parameters that we set previously are represented in this table. So now we're going to take a look at packet loss. So I'm going to dial in uh, packet loss and that's going to get applied to the link. And again, uh, pick up another link. And again, we're going to set uh, packet loss on that link too. There we go. And just press apply. Okay, so that's now in operation. So if we now go back up, and connect into the nodes, we should be able to see the impact of those changes. So again, this is all operational within my web browser. So I'm on the New York node now. And we're just taking a look at the routing table. There we can see all the various entries. And we're gonna to start to send some traffic um, from New York uh, down to San Francisco, which is the dot two IP address. So we're pinging. And there we see, yep, there's some packet loss occurring. We can see the latency there. Again, it's 80 milliseconds that's dialed in each way, so 160 millisecond round trip. And then we can see 40% packet loss, 80 millisecond delay. That's roughly what we're seeing there, 40% and 160 millisecond round trip. Let's just see whether that's, uh, again, consistent when we ping with a larger number of packets. Again, we're pinging across. So that's completed. 
and there we see actually a 50% packet loss. So we have to be careful about the accuracy given that we're pinging with a relatively small number of packets. Okay, so let's remove the packet loss and let's dial in some jitter. So this is again being applied in a unidirectional manner, so 10 milliseconds in each direction, total 20 milliseconds deviation that we should now be seeing across that link. So again, we're gonna go back in and going to ping again from um, New York down to San Francisco. And we're gonna set up that ping. And there we do see uh, there's a small deviation occurring. Again, with only five packets, you may not see it coming into effect. So let's ping with a larger number of packets. So we're setting up for 100 packets this time. And away we go. So that's almost completed now. And there we can see the, the deviation occurring. So that jitter function is then coming into effect. So remove the jitter, reapply. And one thing to note, each time we make those modifications, it does in some cases result in um, the link being reset, uh, depending on, on the parameter they're actually dialing in. So you may see OSPF bounce. So here again, we can see the impact of our changes. Now, a third interface through which we can do these manipulations is through live visualization. So here we are. Now, the dotted lines are showing that these links actually have parameters in effect, and by floating over them, the tooltip is then going to show us what parameters are in effect. Clicking the link then gives us an ability to set or reset, and if we remove the parameters, here we get the solid line. So that link now has no parameters applied. So now we're going to send some traffic from Paris over to San Francisco. Just see how it's behaving right now. And there we can see we've got no loss on the link and then 400 milliseconds, so that's a 200 millisecond unidirectional link uh, latency. And yep, that's what we're seeing there. So let's move Paris closer to San Francisco and alter some of these parameters and see what the impact is. Now, one thing to note is these parameters are, as I mentioned, runtime parameters. They are not saved to your .viral file uh, at this point in time. We're very interested to know whether we should be saving these back, so to, do please let us know. Comment on the uh, support forums on Discourse, and we're very interested to get your feedback on here. But here we can see, again, you know, using the live visualization interface, the ability to then set those latency jitter and uh, packet loss parameters, and then you see the direct effect on the various devices and our links that are operating in our simulation.